so guys i need you to go check in the mommy club reunion you guys by around 18 minutes into the reunion there's this funny interaction between shahan and abigail right so shahan is asking all the moms about their kids and how are the kids feeling you know since they're part of a reality show and abigail is like you know when i joined the show i sat down with my kids and i explained to them what is reality tv and my kids said <laughs> and my kids said mom it's your turn do it for yourself <laughs> and shahan was like oh yeah these kids Ay, yeah big thoughts <laughs> oh that moment that moment because i think everyone is like hey the kids are so young but these kids are very smart <laughs> but the things you know like things that adults would normally say it's your turn mom do it for yourself <laughs> Yo, uh, uh, guys, okay. Just, I, I don't have much to say about the reunion. Um, I'm not really, I'm, I'm happy, but, okay, let me tell you. I'm happy about the reunion. It looked amazing. And I think Showmax likes shows from Durban. I think so. Because look at Houses of Durban. The set always looks amazing. It feels like Showmax really invests a lot in, in shows from Durban. Because I think they know that they're going to get value for their money they're gonna get content and look at, at the mommy club sugar and spice everything looked amazing i just feel like mm, show max i see you guys love kzn okay i have a problem with this reunion though guys as as someone who not just as viewer not someone as a reviewer but someone who's in production i felt as if reunion exposed lack of content somehow i'm sorry to say that you know why i'm saying that because we have a whole reunion which is one hour 30 minutes but the first 30 minutes is about maybe like kids and all that and then the whole hour is about naliani and natasha and natasha who are not even that active on the show i just felt like imagine dressing up as a full-time cast member you're going to the reunion and you're gonna sit down and the whole reunion is talking about you know naliani and natasha yes of course next week they're gonna speak but i was just like might as well cast Naliani then to join the show because it, it literally became about Natasha and Naliani. I and then with regards to them, um yo, okay. I I these are my thoughts. I do feel like Natasha was set up. I will tell you why. I why the why the fact that they the 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 the, the timing they played the clip we saying oh we had a rehearsal and then uh, and then she, she they got to why that clip specifically and then she saw that clip and then i think they wanted to trigger something they knew that natasha would be mad and then i don't know what happened when she got to um naliani's um dressing room most likely probably i don't know probably it did happen probably it did not happen but i did have issues especially towards the end when um my brother shahan was apologizing on a show uh, we apologize uh Naliani for what you went through i think it was too early to apologize maybe you can say we apologize for your experience i don't know i don't know but i feel like it's too early why are you not saying as showmax um we are investigating what transpired behind the scenes because we don't have evidence like you need to thoroughly investigate before you make an apology and then if you believe that you probably did not protect Naliani. Then you will issue an apology to her directly. But I felt like, guys, you don't know. There were no cameras there. We don't know what was really happening behind the scenes. Why are you so fast to apologize, you know? And also, at the beginning, I could see that, you know, Shahan was a bit nervous. But it, as the time went on, he was fine. But at times, I did feel that, um, you know, especially when Natasha was speaking, I think he went... He should have just been, you know, here and allow everything to fly. I felt like at some point, you know, you could feel as if, okay, are you on Naliani's side now? What's happening, you know? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying you need to keep your objectivity and listen to all parties, you know, because um, funny enough, I love both Naliani and Natasha and I don't even know what to believe, honestly, or what to make of, from, of, from this story, honestly. But I don't think it should have taken this long. It took away the whole reunion, honestly. Yes, it was nice to watch out the drama and the receipts. I love that. But I just felt like, uh, okay, it, could just, uh, it was a bit too much, you know? Yeah, those are my thoughts, guys, about this whole reunion. Um, hopefully, the following episode focuses more on the other cast members who were active. There's stuff that needs to be addressed. Um, yeah, this one, whew, I was shocked. I was shocked that it, yeah. But what are your thoughts about it? Do certainly need your thoughts in the comment section below. But these are my thoughts.